Hey everybody, I'm back with another example of the Pearson chi-squared test for categorical data. Um, this time we're going to be looking at randomly generated numbers um, versus numbers that are supposedly random that are generated by a human being. Turns out human beings are really bad at generating um, numbers that actually look random. We tend to underestimate um, the possibility of there actually being patterns in that data just by random chance. For example, if we're just trying to write down a string of digits between 0 and 9 at random, we tend to seldom write down the same digit over and over and over again, even though um, the probability of the same digit occurring twice in a row is 1 in 10. Um, also, we tend to underestimate the probability that the following digit will be 1 higher or 1 lower. So from the perspective of significance testing, if we have a long string of digits between 0 and 9, if they're truly random, this will be our null hypothesis, then the probability that back-to-back -back digits will be the same is 1 in 10, and the probability that they'll differ by exactly 1 is 2 in 10. So we have these probabilities overall. Um, for the purposes of this example, we're going to consider 0 and 9 to be adjacent. It keeps those probabilities fairly simple um, and makes this example more clear, I think. So imagine we have a list of 41 numbers, so 40 back-to-back -back pairs, and we want to determine if they're truly randomly generated or if they were listed by hand by a human being. So here's that list. We're going to go through those 41 pa uh, the 40 pairs um, and count how often adjacent numbers are identical. That happens once. And then we'll count how often they differ by only one. And that happens three times. For example, at the end of that first row, the 5 and the 4. There are 40 total pairs, um, and so 1 in 10 there is 4. We expect to get a back-to-back -back one be identical um, four times. Similarly, we expect back-to-back um, -back ones to be different by just one eight times, and we expect them to be further apart 28 times. We can compute a chi-squared statistic with this, the actual minus the expected squared over the expected. We do that three times, we add it up, and we get a chi-squared test statistic of 7.66. So what's the probability of getting a value at least this large just through random chance in the chi-squared of 2 distribution? 2 coming from the fact that we have three categories. We subtract 1 to get the number of degrees of freedom. So we compute that probability by doing 1 minus the probability of getting a chi-squared value less than 7.66. That's the chi-squared CDF. We can do that in R with the pchi-square command. Um, the arguments are 7.66, the critical chi-squared value, and 2, the number of degrees of freedom. And we get 0.022, pretty small p-value. This represents good evidence that that list of numbers on the previous slide is not actually randomly generated, but was in fact created by a fallible human being. 